Hello, and welcome to our channel, Jetro Startup. I'm Will Ferguson from Jetro San Francisco. And today I have the pleasure of speaking with Mr. Daisuke Nakahara, Head of Corporate Design, and Mr. Vivek Upal, U.S. Business Development Manager at Kyoto Fusioneering. Kyoto Fusioneering is developing fusion technology to drive a new energy industry and solve global environmental issues. Their vision is to apply the enormous heat energy generated by nuclear fusion to create efficient, cost-effective decarbonization technology. Last year, they were selected to be a fusion solutions provider for the UK Atomic Energy Authority's STEP program, whose goal is to deliver a fusion energy plant by 2040. Today, I'd like to discuss their challenges and explore their approach to expanding their business globally. So, thank you both for joining me today. Thanks, Will. So, first question, uh, could you explain a bit more about your technology and solution? Maybe a bit. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll try to get too technical, um, but for fusion, uh, for those of you who don't know, um, basically, you're trying to fuse together atoms, which is different than, than the typical nuclear you hear about. And that produces uh, a neutron, which produces uh, a touch. Um, and so our technology, we're not focused on the plasma core itself, and you'll hear about a lot of uh, big companies and bunch of step, um, so be trash or metal programs. Uh, a lot of those are focused on the, the core plasma, um, called the star. Uh, and what Kyoto Fusioneering spoke on is, is the bottle, basically everything else around it. So the approach that we've taken is um, thinking about commercialization, what's in the inevitable or necessary for commercialization, and work backwards from there and say, all right, what are the gaps, right? Um, the primary goal for Kyoto Fusionary, uh, as we believe it is for, for all the kind of serious players in the industry, is realizing the industry, realize the fusion energy. And so it's important for us to be somewhat um, critical about, all right, where are the gaps? So that kind of sets the stage for our solution, our technology. Uh, so you have plasma core and everything outside of that. So how do you heat the plasma, right? So we've got uh, our technology, gyrocons, to do that. Um, how do you get the heat out, right? So we've got uh, blankets. So too much check detail, but basically you want to capture that neutron heat that comes from that, and you want to try and look that into electricity. So we have systems uh, that basically feed off of the reactor itself uh, to produce energy and refuel, right? So you've got heating, heat extraction, fueling, right? So you want to uh, get tritium uh, or the neutron out of the reaction to produce tritium, uh, which is what inputs into the reaction. Uh, and then finally, you want to be able to protect and then shield uh, all the expensive and, and complex materials that they've got. So we cover basically everything outside of the plasma core itself. Gotcha. Great. Very exciting stuff. So there are many uh, fusion startups globally. Uh, how do you differentiate yourself? What are your strengths compared to your competitors? So competitor is an interesting term. So the fusion the industry is, is so new and nascent, right? And it's, it's just getting gone. Um, so we take the approach, and, and I mentioned it previously, our goal of realizing the industry, um, first and foremost, right? Uh, and we see the pie is, is growing exponentially, that is. And so um, I, I guess to answer the first part of your question, how do we differentiate, you know, again, the bulk of the companies are focused on the plasma core, as they, they should be. Uh, and so we're very much complementary to, to most of the players. And then there are some players that are, that are doing stuff that's similar to us, um, which again is great, right? It's, um, the challenge that we're taking on is, is large. It's not easy, right? Um, it's, it's, I, I describe it as the bottle, but it's really not that simple. There's, there's a lot of components, a lot of systems and to talk to each other. Um, it, it is a, a, a monumental task ahead of us. Uh, and so we encourage, uh, other players to mention the market, um, to take on you know, challenges within that, um, that large scope of work. Uh, and so, yeah, so the, the term competitor, really, it's more so, you know, we encourage, uh, a lot of other people to do stuff that's similar to what's because it's necessary. Yeah. That's great that you're willing to collaborate. So you'll actually see it in, in fusion, um, throughout its history, how it's evolved, uh, that a collaborative approach, um, I think early on, uh, each individual country was trying to figure it out on their own in what to kind of win the race to fusion. Because it opens a lot of doors, right? Energy abundance, a clean source of energy, um, and so that was the initial approach. And very quickly they realized, oh, wait, this is a lot, right? This isn't easy to do. Uh, and, and they basically published all their research and started collaborating. You'll see Turk is is kind of the um, 
the, the example um, that nations have set. Um, and fortunately, um, that is necessary. Uh, that same philosophy and mindset um, permeates the private sector um, and, and even between the public and private there's collaboration. So uh, I, I don't want to use the, the cliche too much, but collaboration is, is really at the core um, of the industry, um, which which and is go back to its its early days. Right. Great. So I've heard that you've begun uh, constructing a fusion testing facility in here in Japan. Uh, could you tell us about your goals for that and, uh, you know, just what you hope to achieve? Yes. So you refer to unity, um, uh, which the goal for it is to take, uh, some of this R and D testing beyond lab scale. Um, that if there's a lot of complexity to a fusion power plant, it isn't rich it. Um, and the stuff that you, you learn at theory and in a lab, it doesn't necessarily scale, um, to the ultimate um, power plant size uh, and what's needed there. And so Unity is a step towards um, replicate out of a fusion relevant environment uh, to test a lot of the big components and systems uh, that I've described. So uh, gyrotrons, right? So that's the plasma heating. I'm sure that, that you know, test that on, on a size full scale. Um, our blankets in our uh, diverter, uh, which ain't did to the technical side of it, but that's kind of the first line of defense um, in, in the reactor itself, right? So doing it on a small scale, and yeah, that's fine, but you need to test it on a on a large scale with high heat flux. Um, and so Unity helps achieve that. The fuel cycle, so basically how do you uh, refuel that, right? That is that an integrated um, and, and, and reasonably skilled uh, way the extraction. So all of that, um, it can't be done in isolation. It can to a certain point, but to achieve commercialization, um, need to, to integrate the stuff and scale it up, uh, and really put it through the radar. Um, in a fusion reaction, it's, it's extremely, extremely tough. Um, there's high neutron flux, which can damage materials. Uh, so we basically need to replicate as much of that as we can and test it, um, to, to get us to root. Yeah. Great. Sounds like you're covering on your bases there. Yeah, that's the goal. Great. Uh, so let's talk a little bit more about your global expansion efforts. Uh, so what kind of partners do you have uh, in the Japan, uh, U.S., and, and globally? Uh, maybe Daisuke's on. Now, so yeah, to, well, I'd like to say to expand this point, we're on the two position. The first position is a representative of this uh, future startup itself. Yeah, so that's uh, as the big region. So we need the collaboration to realize the future. Yeah, so I think fusion is fusion power is ultimate deep tech challenge. So that's the ultimate deep tech needs. So we is the additional so huge amount of support. Yeah, so that's we will conduct a huge amount of R&D and we will conduct so many efforts. But the support is that's a, uh, so, so that's a, to achieve this goal, I would like to yeah, make a collaboration between future startups and future startups and fusion startups and natural laboratories, and also other uh, collaborators, including the government and other the so manufacturers, so many supporters. Yeah, so that's actually we are uh, having a collaboration uh, in Japan and also in US, UK, and in Europe. So there are several collaborators we have, and we would like to expand more. And originally, the second point, uh, the board, the partnerships, uh, I would like to say uh, the, the key position, I would like to say, uh, sense of gratitude uh, to Jetco. So that, uh, yeah, uh, actually we uh, yeah started the our UK office and always also US office. So we the startups, so we don't have uh, so so resources. Uh, during this uh, originating subsidiaries, we get a bit great support from the Jetco. Yeah, so that's now it looks so yeah, much too. Yeah, yeah. Of course, you know we're we're happy to help, and you know all your your success is uh, our success as well. So you recently uh, established, as you mentioned, your uh, UK subsidiary to join the Atomic Energy Authority's uh, STEM program. Uh, so what do you hope to accomplish by joining the program? Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, so we would like to build the so future stuff to to become to realize. Uh, yeah. So that's, this is our objective. So the UK uh, pursue this STEM program. So the, this is the uh, how the first part of UK 
uh, to guide this future reactor. Uh, we would like to help to support, uh, we would like to support this uh, realization. So we are the enabler for the every fusion startup and every fusion needed players that we would like to support this uh, yeah, in steps. Additionally, uh, so I'd like to explain uh, why we are doing this uh, step program. Uh, so because uh, we have uh, six, 650 years. So yeah, it is not the job, it is not because the time is distorted, but uh, actually we have a 650 years experience. Yeah, from the, our CEO, uh, Professor Konishita Satoshi Konish, uh, have a 40 years career in the future, fusion. That, and, and also we have uh, many, uh, so expert network. So accumulation of these ex experience, we have a uh, 650 years. But uh, from using this past experience, we are supporting the uh, fusion. But uh, uh, we would like to become a, a BL enabler for a fusion behind this. That sounds like you have a lot of uh, great experts working with you. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about your team? Yeah. So yes, as I mentioned, we have a strong team. So for our team, I uh, mentioned the professor Sadoshi uh, I think he's a so region, a one of the region in the fusion. Uh, market, uh, so that he had conducted a lot of yeah. And also, uh, we have uh, many experts. As I mentioned, it, so we have an expert network, and also we have a uh, talented uh, engineers. We are uh, making uh, some generation to generation, so that uh, Satoshi Komishi is the region. But uh, we need to uh, additional uh, for a long time, so that uh, uh, we are supporting the uh, next generation. So that's the Professor Satoshi Konishi and other uh, expert uh, train our engineers and they will become the regent. That's, uh, so this continuing regents series a fusion will be uh, become real. That's great. Sounds like you're really planning for the future. So you've also recently established your U.S. subsidiary. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that and what are your goals for the U.S. market maybe in the yeah, so again, global collaboration, right? Uh, and we see several key players, uh, but as you can tell from where our offices are, it's Japan, um, K, and really the, the whole European region uh, and the U.S. Uh, and North America um, more broadly as, as critical players, as are other areas of And then the U.S., it, it, they're kind of trailblazing to some degree um, in some ways, in other, other ways, you know, the case, trailblazing in Japan, right? And, and uh, what we do see in the U.S., though, is huge investment, um, both public and private, uh, admitted from the Biden-Harris administration, uh, Department of Energy, the National Labs. Uh, so a lot of emphasis on the public side uh, and the venture capitalists getting involved in funding um, a lot of these startups. Um, and so it's, yeah, there's several reasons in the U.S., um, in simple terms, be close to the action. Um, and as as uh, Daisuke mentioned, uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we're enablers, right? We want to be there. Um, and so the bulk of the startups are in the U.S. We want to make sure that they have what they need to succeed, um, learn more about what they're doing to inform our RD product development. Um, and so it's, yeah, it's it's uh, an important place to be, um, as is the U.K. and Japan. Elsewhere is as we look to expand. Great. If the other element to it, so there's, of course, you know, our collaborators and partners, but clients and all of that. There's also talent, right? Um, Fusion has an opportunity uh, because it's so nascent uh, to, to draw in a diversity of people and perspectives and backgrounds. Um, it, 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 in every way, right? Um, you've got, uh, of course, engineers, uh, for diverse backgrounds, physicists and kind of technical people, which are critical, uh, communications, um, legal, right? So you want to have all of the functions covered um, and, and encourage them to, to come to uh, the fusion industry, right? And, and help bolster it. Uh, and you also want to have people from different uh, backgrounds and different communities. Uh, and so in addition to kind of going to where the action is, expanding globally allows us to tap into uh, more diverse uh, background 
that's another kind of critical element to it as well. For fusion, we realize again, monumental task, uh, and there's a lot of different dimensions across which we need to evolve. Uh, and talent is, is difficult. So next, uh, do you have any message that you'd like to share to any potential investors or clients and partners that uh, may be watching this? Yeah, so I'd like to say the fusion market uh, will be his political dramatic change for humankind. So this is the first source we create. So this is the first energy source we create. So the, uh, this uh, actually this is the first one. Uh, we just only use the fossil fuel or other uh, energy. But uh, this nuclear fusion is the first target for human. It means this is the dramatical change for humankind. So we have create this change. It will change the global and humankind's life dramatically. So it means for our investors, I would like to say, uh, it will change market itself. That uh, you can gain uh, additional capital goals and also uh, you can gain a uh, great achievement for humankind. Uh, we would like to share this great uh, journey with you. Yeah, so this is what I would like to say. So and now additionally, uh, we did the enable for human, uh, for fusion uh, startups and all the fusion players. So that uh, we are uh, standing in a very unique position to realize the fu uh, fusion. Uh, so that's how, uh, uh, so that's actually next to say, I'll uh, get a uh, so good, uh, so I think for you to invest. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you to our attention. Okay, that, that, that's, a, that's a great message. That's like uh, maybe a little long term, but this is definitely a huge opportunity. There, press Dream change. Yeah, absolutely. So on the investor side, I want to encourage or press them, of course, right? And we appreciate investors that, that see the long term vision behind. Um, it's not the typical startup where, you know, you're looking for return on capital, short amount of time, right? This this requires a more um, thoughtful approach to investing. Yeah, long term planning. Yeah. So I think that would be a good message for investors. Um, and if the government's continuing to invest on right? And the potential clients, I mean, encourage the diversity of approaches, right? Um, the, the science is very much an unsettled, so we encourage, we encourage diversity of, of approaches and we encourage you to connect with us to help you and help enable that. If you'd like to reach out to Kyoto Fusionary, you may connect with them on LinkedIn or through their website, kyotofusionary.com. We also invite you to check out our other Japanese startup interviews on this channel. And we also have many pitch videos available for viewing as well. And for all things related to doing business in Japan, we'd like to remind you, talk to Gentro first. Thank you.